<laughs> All right, so we've got Jason here. Now, Jason, so this is your truck behind us here. Correct, right? So uh, you've been a veteran. What, well, tell us uh, about your veteran career, what you do. Uh, I was a mechanic for uh, the U.S. Army. Okay. I spent uh, a year over in South Korea, came back, and spent the rest of my time okay. pretty much at Fort Bragg right. with the Special Forces. Okay. And now you're trucking? <laughs> and no. now you're trucking and promoting? And what's your, because I understand each truck has a story. What's the story behind your truck? Uh, Mission 22 it is uh, every day 22 veterans are actually uh, passing away from uh, some sort of some form of suicide and so, uh, it could also be from uh, drug overdoses or basically from freezing to death in the middle of winter wow. Wow. for being homeless wow. yeah. I heard that is a, a big I'm from Canada just so you know so I'm kind of uh, we have we have issues in Canada as well but I hear a lot about it from here so a lot of them become homeless afterwards uh, what why is that what's the reason behind uh, it? Uh, a, a lot of a lot of the veterans are homeless because they come back they find out uh, some of their employers have given jobs to some of the uh, uh, other people they can't get their jobs back uh, some of them are actually now disabled and they can no longer do the job so and then they start going into depression ha having depression they may turn to drugs alcohol and eventually it becomes too much for them they yet they end up passing away from suicide are there not programs in place uh, for that for when they come back to help them whatever the the challenge may be when they return uh, now there there is programs now uh, we're, we're sponsoring mission 22 because uh, with mission 22 uh, there's we've been handing out pamphlets and these pa these pamphlets have phone numbers on there to where if they do and websites if they do have a problem they can call that number and if there's a veteran in the area they can give them a ring and say hey we got a veteran in this area that's having a pro uh, actually having a problem and they can actually sit there talk to the veteran and try to defuse the situation before it does become suicide this is great. So this is you. Where do you, where do you run with your truck? Are you all over uh, North America? I I am uh, 48 states. Okay. Okay. So you don't come to see us in Canada? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm for we're nice people, you know. <laughs> I know. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed up in Canada. Okay. So. All right. all right. Good. Good. Well, listen, thanks for talking with me today, and yeah. keep up the good work. Keep uh, spreading the message. We will uh, we will help you in that front as well. So perfect. Thank buddy. you, Bruce. All right, buddy. Good job. Good job. You did a great job.